Do you want your website to be approved by Google AdSense so you can put ads on your website and start to make money? Well, if that's the case, you're at the right address. My brand new website with just one blog post and a few pages was accepted within five days by applying the principles I will teach you in this tutorial. Even if your website has been rejected before, it does not mean that your website will be rejected forever. Google wants to make money. So if they can make money through your website, they want to do that, but you need to comply with all the terms. I will show you every step you need to take in order to be accepted by Google AdSense. Maybe you already have taken a few steps. Well, if that's the case, I still suggest you watch all the steps in the video so you can apply everything you have not done yet in order to be accepted by Google. Are you ready? Let's dive right in. The first term, you need to have content on your website. Having a homepage telling the website is under construction is a no-go. Or having pages and posts with dummy content or having empty pages you will probably be rejected. I created one blog post with 2200 words and one page with 1100 words and all my other pages were filled with content. Not much, just a little bit, but all available content. With that amount of content, my website got approved by Google AdSense. Talking about content, the content on your website needs to be unique, created by yourself and definitely not copied from another website. It took me a few hours to create the content I've created for my websites. And if you don't have original content on your website, you probably also do not have a lot of visitors. So placing ads on your website will not make you a lot of money. So focus on creating a lot of original, high quality content before you apply for Google AdSense account. The third thing, when you want to get visitors to your website, there are good ways and bad ways. What are good ways? Sharing your website URL on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, social media, whatever platform you use, you can just share your link. Usually sharing your links will get you a lot of visitors and they will browse through your website and that is perfectly fine. What should you not do? Buy views, use bots, illegal ways to get fake visitors to your website. Google is not crazy. They will see that and they will reject your website. Just focus on giving valuable content to your visitor. I did everything the honest way and I'm making a lot of money with Google AdSense. So do not try to give your website a boost using those weird tricks. Just focus on creating quality content. Talking about quality content, what is good quality content? It is content that is unique to the visitor and adds value to them. It is better to have a few really big blog posts with high quality content than a website full with pages that contain poor quality content. I'm not a native English speaker. I'm from the Netherlands. I speak Dutch and I've learned to speak English, but it's not perfect. So what I do when I write blog posts, I use Grammarly, a great tool that can help you. It says it already a little bit to, to take a look at the grammar and uh, make your blog post look better because also in that way, good quality is important for Google. You don't need to have a lot of errors or typos because Google does not like that. I have a tutorial about Grammarly, so you can also watch that if you want to learn how to write blog posts. I also have a tutorial on how to write a great uh, blog post, the blog post I created, the 2200 words. I created a tutorial about it. I will show them in the description of this tutorial. Also, do not copy and paste much text within your website. If you have a certain text about a certain subject, do not copy it and use it on a different blog post and another blog post just to fill your website with good content. Google does not like that. But it's okay to link to other blog posts in your website. It's called internal linking and it's good for the SEO score. So do not copy and paste information on your website on multiple places. And when we talk about content, do not publish any adult or violent content on your website. Do not teach people how to create dangerous stuff because you will get rejected for that. When you have high quality content, you need to make sure it is easy to navigate through the content of your website. This is something Google checks when you want your website to be approved by Google AdSense. A few things to keep in mind. One, make sure that your navigation bar appears on the same place on all devices. So if it's on the desktop on the top, do not make it at the bottom of your website when you open it on a smartphone. And the second thing, make sure that your menu is intuitive like mine. And that when people go to a certain page, they really go to that place and they do not go to a different website or do to a different page. If you do all that, you should be fine. The sixth point, really important, you need to have a privacy policy page on your website that states that you have ads on your website and you make money with it. And I will show you in this tutorial how you need to do that. So those are the six points. There are more points, but I will talk you through them when we go to the tutorial. This is all preparation before you apply for Google AdSense. Maybe you already have an account, maybe you don't have it. I will show you next how to create an account in Google AdSense. And then I will show you a few more points you need to comply with in order to be accepted by Google AdSense. 
Are you ready? I am. Let's do this. So the first thing we need to do, we need to go to adsense.google.com and hit enter. Now we click on get started. What you need is a Gmail account. If you don't have that, you need to set it up. It is free just as Google AdSense is also free. I already have a Gmail account that is not connected at all with AdSense. So I will start from scratch and I will use my website in order to create an AdSense account. I click on 30 Corp. That's the one I want to use. And now I need to fill in my website. If you don't have a website yet, just select over here. If you want to learn how to make a website, I have a tutorial about that. You can go to YouTube and search for how to make a website 30. And there I show you step by step how you can do that. My website is https 30 corpushookcom Get more out of AdSense. Do you want to get help? No, thank you. Your payment country territory. I'm from the Netherlands. And then you need to read those terms. Read the terms and conditions. Really important. Let me give you a few highlights. You need to be at least 18 in order to sign up for this. If you're not 18, don't sign up. You need to have a Google account. You can create a free Gmail account that will do the trick. Never violate those terms. If you do that, your account will be shut down and you do not get your money. Never, ever, never, ever click on your own advertisements. Also, never ask other people to click on your advertisement. Never do that. Don't use this on websites with adult content. Do not use it on websites containing copyrighted material. And do not create a second AdSense account. If you already have one, do not create a second one. But please read them. And when you have read them and you agree, then you can start using AdSense. Wow, that's it. That's it. No, that's not it. Of course, we need to be accepted. Now it says about payments, tell us about you and it is required. So I enter my information over here and then you can say that you're an individual or a business. The name and address of my business, the name is Ferdy and Anna Media. My name is Ferdy Corpushoek. My address is this one exactly. My primary contact, they already have it somehow. I can change it over here if I want to, but I'm okay with that. So I click on submit. Awesome. Now we need to link our website with Google AdSense. And in order to do that the right way, we need to follow a few steps. The first step is proving to Google that you own the website you submit. Let me show you how it is done. Awesome. They got my info. See how ads look on your website is optional. Connect your site to AdSense. That is required. So I click on let's go. Connect your site to AdSense. Copy and paste the HTML code of your site in the head. So I go to my website, 30corp.com. Make sure I'm logged in and then I go to the back end to plugins, add new, and we're going to install Google SiteKit. Not only great for Google AdSense, but also for Google Analytics and Google Search Console. I search for Google site kit and I click on install now. Then I need to activate it. And the great thing is that I can see my revenue within my WordPress website when I use this tool. Okay. I need to start a setup or I go to Google Sidekick kit <laughs> dashboard and then I need to sign in with Google and I need to sign in with the same email address, the Gmail account I used to use for AdSense which is this one. Then I need to verify a few things. Oh, I trust Google. Great. Now I need to connect AdSense. As you see, I already connected Search Console and Analytics and PageSpeed. Now it's time for AdSense. So I click on Connect Service. Google is making sure everything is all right over here. And it is. Again, I need to log in. I'm okay with all this stuff. If you want, you can read the privacy policy in the terms of service. And now it will connect with AdSense. Looks like you're already using AdSense. Yes, SiteKit will place AdSense code on your site to connect your site. Yes. And then it says, let SiteKit place AdSense code on your site to get your site approved. Well, that's what we just did ourselves. And now SiteKit is doing it for us. In order for your site to display ads, make sure you've completed these steps in AdSense. Well, we've done that. 
Continue. Great, it's connected. And we can explore this. So let's take a look. Google's now finding the best places for ads on your site. So if I turn this on, look at this. There will be an ad between my header and my hero. In this tutorial, I do not focus on setting up different kind of ads. I focus on getting approved by Google. If you want to see a complete AdSense tutorial, you can click over here or you go to the description area and search for the link or you go to Google and search for AdSense 30. If I go to sites over here at the left, I see my website furthercorpsbook.com is getting ready. If I click on it, it says bear with us. It will take a few days, but in some cases up to two weeks, you don't need to resubmit it. Just be patient. Well, since we need to be patient, what I can do, I have a disclaimer over here, terms of service and privacy policy. Okay. But I want to do one more thing. I go to the back end to plugins at new. And I search for GDPR and then I go to, for the one from web toffee, toffee, tuff, tuff, the blah. install now. And we're going to use the basic version and activate it. Okay. Then we go to the settings over here, GDPR cookie consent settings. I want to go for CCPA and GDPR. This is for Europe, this is for California. Turn it on, enable it. Turn the cookie bar on. Update. So now when people go to our website for the first time, they get this area over here. They can go to the settings and accept it. So when Google checks it, we are compliant with that because if we go to the home page, it says get privacy ready. Make sure you're complying with privacy regulations like GDPR and CCPA before you start showing ads on your website. So we want to make sure when they review our website that everything is fine. Let's go to ads and then I go to Ferdy Corpsuk, click over here, edit. And now we can also adjust the GDPR and CCPA settings over here. If I go to more features, I can turn this on. And it will be turned on only for the people that live in the areas where you need to have the GDPR consent message. Turn it on. It will look like this. And then we need to have the privacy policy URL. So mine is this one. If you don't have it, I will show you in a minute how you can create one. And then I like it the way it is. And for the people from California, turn it on. And then over here, it looks a little bit weird. Do not sell my information. It looks, it looks like we're doing something wrong, like we're doing illegal stuff. And maybe it gives people a feeling like, hey, can I trust this? So I prefer, you can also hide that message. I prefer to turn it off and use the other one, but it's up to you what you want to do. Let me close this, discard the changes. What do we need to do now? Go to Google. Sorry, I mean really google.com. And search for Google AdSense privacy, privacy policy generator, privacy policy for Google AdSense terms and feed. You need to have privacy policy. There's a video about it, etc. And over here is the privacy policy generator. So my website, I have a website, my site's HPS, ferdycorpushook.com. The website, his name is how to make a website, website. I personally do not use 2021 because then in a year it will be, it will look old. I am, uh, well, depending on what you are, individual or a business, my business name is Ferdy and, and uh, media. media. The address of my website, Netherlands. Next step, what kind of personal information do we want to use from users? Uh, actually, not that much. This next step, people can send me an email to info at 30 corpus hook, not by phone. 
Yes, I want to go for all of those. I don't want to have the professional one, just the normal one. You email the rest to receive it. Very smart because then they can send me spam emails or just normal emails. Generate it. It's free. And then we can copy and paste this over here. So I go to my uh, website. I go to the privacy policy. Edit the page. Right now I only talk about, um, I use affiliate links. Now I, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What I need to do, I need to click on the plus. HTML, custom HTML, paste it. Or over here, I click on the three dots. Use the code editor. And over here, I paste all this stuff. Update. View the page. And then there's this information which I could never create myself. But if you want to take it serious, I highly suggest you do take a look at finding a lawyer or someone that can fix this for you. But this is a good start. Uh, you don't want to be banned by Google because you do not have good privacy policy stuff. It's uh, for me, it's uh, I don't like this part of the tutorial, but I want to at least cover how you can generate something. So you have something and you do not get banned. You don't want to get banned. So we have to wait and I will be back with you when it is ready. And I will tell you how long it took before my account was being approved. It is now two days later. And if I go to adsense.google and I click on sign in. I see I made my first money. That means that over here at sites, my website is approved. It's ready, but there is a but. So um, to prevent severe impact on revenue, download the ads TXT file and then upload it to the root level domain of each site. In this case, for the corpse So for every website you use using AdSense, you need to place that ads.txt file the root directory. So I go to my root directory of ferdicorpsuk.com. So over here I am at my root directory of my website ferdicorpsuk.com. I can download the file over here and there it goes and there it goes. So over here I click on file upload, go to my downloads and there it is ads.txt, open it and it is successfully uploaded. So over here it is in my root directory. So if I would go to Ferdy Corp forward slash ads dot txt, I can see it over here. So we added the ads dot txt. What is next? So I click on learn more, dismiss or action. Well, I want to take action. So I click over here and then I need to change my seller information visibility from confidential to transparent. And then I leave my business domain only your business name, no HTTPS and then .com or .co .uk, but no slash, no HTTPS, no www. And that's it. It will be saved automatically. Don't click over here because then you will close your account. So click on home again. So we fixed the two things they asked me. So automatically the JSON file is created because we filled in this information. And if you take a look over here from our content on our website, we get 68% of the revenue that Google gets, which is quite a lot. So when people click on an advertisement on your website and the advertiser pays one euro or one dollar, you get 68 cents of that, which is quite nice from Google. Okay, let's take a look at payment settings. I do the same name as I have on my passport. I can have my phone number over here. Save. I go to the homepage, learn more. When they, they show that you need to fix it. Yeah, this is fixed. So it takes a while before they will check that. Again, fix now. It says it may take a few days for changes to update. If you're using another ad network, remember to add the network. So um, this is fine for me. It is ready. I'm already making money. And if I go to my website, I'm already seeing the ads right now. I do not really like the way how they place ads like this. 
And if I click somewhere, I get an ad. I don't like it. It's a little bit spammy. But for now, I just want to get... Oh, look at that. I, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, this is not what I prefer to do with my website. So I hope my visitors aren't too mad about it, too angry about it. I just wanted to show you how to get started. Okay, here's the moment. After a week, it says your payments are on hold because you need to verify your address. So I can take action over here or over here. I can see this area. Verify your billing address. We mailed you a PIN on October 19th. It should take between two and four weeks. I verify it over here. And then I need to fill in this PIN. So let's say on day one, I verify my billing address. Uh, then at day eight, eight days later, I got my email, uh, my, my mail from Google with a code. So I'm here at my Google AdSense account and it says my payments are on hold because you need to verify your address. That's what I did over here. I verified it. Or I'm sorry, at the 19th of October and then nine days later I received it. So I have it over here. This is a special tutorial. I will also show you how to rip this apart. If I will be in focus again, sometimes I need to help it a little bit. Up. Oh, not too much. I guess the code is still visible. Yes, it is. Over here, you see it. And I need to fill it in. So, um, I click over here, verify my six digit pin, 807900. Submit. Okay. So I go to the home page. I already did this. So sometimes you need to wait a few moments and then the next step will be announced if there's another step to take. So it took me eight days. It can take longer. Um, it can take up to four weeks. If you don't get it after four weeks, you can apply for it again. I want to tell you a story. I have 20 dark blue t-shirts. T-shirts. I can't find one. So that's why I wear this. Like this video if you like this. Okay, whatever. But um, what I want to do, I want to wrap this video up. I went through all the steps. Uh, I got accepted. I uh, did everything I had to do after I got accepted. And now, look at this. In October 2021, I made $30, $31 with Google AdSense. And it's not going to my bank account yet because it's below 70 euros. If I go to payments over here, my payment is still on threshold because I only reached 44% of my threshold. So when I reach, when I make more money this month uh, with a total of 30 plus the other amount total, more than 70 euros, the month after that, I will receive that money on my bank account. And that's how it goes. And the great thing is if you go to YouTube and you search for affiliate marketing, 30, hit enter. You see this video over here one month ago there i showed you how to create a website an affiliate marketing website that's called passive income with 30. that website was accepted by the same principles over here it's ready at the same principles i teach in this tutorial and when you go to a different page you see this advertisement people can click on it and when they click on it i get money i make money also here So Google decides where to place my ads. And in that way, um, when people click on it, I make money. And that website was created in September, the end of September. So in my first month, uh, I want to be completely honest. It's uh, So let's go to reporting. When I go to sites, it's not all by passive income with 30, the whole 31. But if I take a look at, uh, let me see, estimated earnings from the last 30 days. Then with passive income with 30, I made 10 euros, but in the last, se last seven days, because I um, accepted, I think two weeks ago, last seven days, five euros. So that's $20, 20 euros in one month f for, which is for a website that I've created a month ago. I think a good thing, because if I create more content now, I will start to make more money. And when I start to make more money, I will 
go to the threshold of 70 euros and then every month I can make start to make money uh, with this website. It's I think it's it's crazy. So I hope through those uh, steps I showed you in this tutorial, your website will be approved. And if you really don't uh, get approved, you can always watch this over here. Search for YouTube, search for Google AdSense series. And you can watch those videos. Uh, I applied everything. I implemented everything in this tutorial. But um, it's not that you can be rejected forever. Google wants to make money through your website. So they want you to comply with everything. And when you're not come, when you're not accepted, you need to do something else. One more thing. Yesterday I made four dollars. Four dollars times thirty would mean one hundred twenty dollars per month. Okay. I'm excited. I will create more content because that's it's all about creating valuable content, unique content. And then I hope you will be really successful. If you want to, you can like this video, subscribe for more upcoming tutorials, and then I wish you the best in your um, online making money journey while helping other people with quality content on your website. Bye-bye.